We're hearing from one of the federal agencies involved in the ambulance fire investigation. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives sending an engineer from their fire research lab in Maryland to help get answers. Max Rodriguez follows up. It's been nearly a week since an ambulance burst into flames just steps away from the Adventist Health Castle Hospital. A 91-year-old patient being transported in the ambulance died, and a 36-year-old paramedic, Jeff Wilkinson, was critically injured. City, state, and federal agencies are investigating the deadly incident, including the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Calling in an electrical engineer from the Bureau's fire research lab, along with two special agents from the Hawaii field office. Anytime you're dealing with a vehicle, especially one that's got, you know, medical equipment like that, it's all going to be connected electronically. Um, you're going to have power that goes back and forth, and that's obviously something that they want to take a look at, uh, either either to confirm that was a cause or to rule out that it was a cause. This is a different type of call for the ATF, which usually supports structural incidents, but the bureau being called in for its fire and explosives expertise. Majority of the calls that we get are generally structures, buildings. Uh, you know, building complexes. So for this, it's a little unusual, but again, we've got the expertise in fire investigation uh, to come out and make sure that this is done right. At this time, there's no timeline for the investigation or if the electrical engineer will need to fly out any evidence for testing at the Bureau's lab in Maryland. The Honolulu Fire Department says there's nothing new to report on their part. Many in the community rallying to support Wilkinson and his family. An online fundraiser already well over $100,000 in donations. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.